Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And yesterday I did a couple little test tiles, and so I didn't record them. But I, and so people had asked if I would do a recording, and I will. Here's the dried results. Um, oh my gosh, I love the beautiful color shift that the um, this little piggy interference blue adds. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, and what I was playing around with, and then this one. Look at that color. Can you see the color shift? It's pretty great. Um, it's pretty great. So those are two test tiles that I did yesterday. And I was trying to figure out, and I was asking him with an opinion, which do you like best to go with an area rug? And I posted a picture of the area rug. Do you like the blue on top and orange on bottom? Or blue on bottom and orange on top? I got a lot of feedback, which I love. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I will also show you the dried result of a big one I did yesterday. This is a 12 by 16, and I'm pretty happy with it also. So when I, I laid out an oblong oval, um, and I put quite a bit of the orange on the bottom, um, and when I blew it out, all I got was, I didn't get down to the orange on the bottom, so I re-blew over here in these areas, which I'm glad I did. I knew I'd lose some of my lacing if I did that, which I did. Um, but look at the um, beautiful blend of colors. And then that actually, I think, creates a better composition where um, I've got like this, it's kind of going this way. It's drawing your eye up. And I've just got some beautiful color shift, blendy, smooth areas and then some fun lacing areas. And I'm really happy with this one. But I'll do another big one today with the orange on top too. And people gave me some great suggestions also um, for doing um, the tapestry in one of the patterns and then throw pillows with the other color on top. So, ha, that's what I'll try. Um, let me tell you first the colors that I used. These are all four. Um, these are actually resin tints from Counterculture. So the colors that I have, I have um, two intense colors and two dispersion colors. So the dispersion colors are a little bit thicker. Um, this is called Aquamarine. That's the blue, the dark blue that I have. And I believe this one's called Sky Blue. I can't even really tell. <laughs> so um, I've just picked it up with too many painty hands and I can't see, but that's the color. You can kind of see the light blue color. So those are the two blues that I used. And then the intense colors are just, they're super liquidy. Um, but this is Amber Spice. It's very much like, I'm gonna say the closest um, paint color to this is probably Quinoctridone Nickel Azo Gold. So it starts out with like this really intense, almost brown look to it, but it's quite orange. And then this one is Cranberry Cocktail. Um, so I had to thicken all of them up just like you would quite a bit, uh, just like you would a high flow paint. And then I used for my interference blue, this beautiful, this little piggy uh, velvet is what I use. And you can just see kind of the interference blue that it gets on that. So enough of the products that I used. Um, now you can see them for yourself. I still have a little bit of a, a stockpile of my Sherman Williams color to go, um, bright white. And so I'm using that up, which is a little sad because then I'm going to have to join the hunt like everyone else and find a new pillow paint. But I have just a ton of mist tint colors, so I might just stick with those for a while. So I got my pillow down, and let's start. Oh, I'll show you the consistency that I went for. A little, I like them a little bit on the thick side. So this is that Amber Spice. Um, so, oh, I've got some air bubbles in there, which kind of interferes with showing you the flow, but there we go. Definitely leaves a mound upon a mound before it drops down, but still pretty liquidy, drizzly, um, elastic-y. So what I found is I wanna put down twice as much of this amber spice as I do my other colors, so that it really comes through. I really want that to come through. Okay, now what someone gave me a suggestion for yesterday, which I think is a good idea to kind of get a little bit more of the greeny teal that you see here, kind of the green teal from my <laughs> dried result there, is that I could put uh, just a tiny, the tiniest bit of 
this aquamarine right next to it and it might blend out to be this really cool kind of a uh, more of a teal green next to that I'm going to put my sky blue I didn't do that yesterday but I'm going to give it a go today Just kind of being careful. I definitely want these in my puddles. You can see the consistency of that one, hopefully. Um, now, I did a full scoop. I did two full drizzles of the Nico and of the Amber Spice, a drop of the Aquamarine, a full of the Sky Blue. And now I'm going to take and kind of just do half of a scoop of this red because it gets really really bossy I don't want too much of that I don't know these feel <laughs> they still feel a little thick to me but oh well I thought I had them the right consistency they feel maybe a little thick we'll see how it goes okay now I'm gonna put down my interference blue a full thing of that Um, and sometimes I'll drizzle them all around, but I, I just kind of want this, I want these real puddles here. Just making sure that's in the middle. And now a nice full big scoop of this. My cell activator is just the um, Amsterdam Titanium White with the Aussie Floetrol mixed in a three to one ratio. So it's a little bit thicker instead of it being a four to one ratio. So you see, it's just gonna create a tiny, tiny little trace before it drops down. All right, so we'll put that on there. And you can tell it's gonna work if you get a little bit of feathering on the side, which I do have. A couple extra drops. And now I like to kind of pick mine up and blow across it this way. And we'll just kind of let that recollect. So you can see, I just put down half of a scoop of the red and it's still, I get plenty of it coming through. And the blue, this, these counterculture products work great with my pouring medium, which is the Ace Hardware Clark Kensington. Um, I don't know, here, let me see if I can show you the hand. I get this from Ace Hardware. It's the Clark Kensington uh, neutral tint base. Here's the ID. They did change up uh, in the high gloss. They did change up their um, formula. I find it's a little bit runnier and it was already kind of thin. So what I do for a lot of my high flow paints and things like that is I add some of this you trick this is the blick brand of their gloss medium i've tried the clark kensington with the liquitex gloss medium the golden gloss medium i just think i get a stretchier more elastic rubbery that kind of i like this one the best so that's how i thicken my paints up there we go i think i'm chocked full of information for you now all right let's spin this out and see what we get Um, I think I really, really like that, but I'm going to do a little bit more and see if I can get a little bit of that orange to come out over there. Not too much more, but it's beautiful. So let me get this one off and then we'll do the other color. And look at how much of that red came through and I did not put very much down. So. Here we go, is a close-up result. You can see that fun, um, just that beautiful little color tint shift. So there's the orange on the bottom, a little bit of red. I like it. You can see like right here, where there's that kind of blue rim around the orange. 
that created that kind of a darker teal. Kind of cool. So there's that one. Fun, fun, fun. I'm going to go set this one aside. I'm unhappy with how much red was in that one, though. But okay. Now let's do the opposite order. Okay. So I don't forget, I'm going to switch them on my table here. Okay. So for this one, oh, I do need to put down my pillow paint first, don't I? <laughs> okay, for this one, we'll start with the blue here, aquamarine, I should say. Put down a little extra of that base color, just because. Um, and maybe I'll put the tiniest little drop of the amber spice there. I did not do that with yesterday's, but I'm just kind of doing the same thing yesterday with that one little minor change. There's some air bubbles right in that cap on it. That's okay. And just pop it right now. That's what I get. Well, they're going to pop anyways because I'm going to blow it out, but I don't like that I dropped in some big air bubbles, so I'm just going to pop those really big noticeable ones. Okay. Now for the half a scoop here, a little bit. That's it on the red. Not as big of a pillow or puddle. Now we'll go with a full scoop of this luscious, this little piggy, velvet. It is like velvet. You know, I just discovered that I had, I thought I had every piggy and I'm like, Twinkle, Twinkle, I, everybody's talking about Twinkle. I don't have Twinkle. How did I overlook Twinkle? I don't know, you guys. <laughs> so I ordered it yesterday along with some more velvet because I like that one a lot and some more pinwheel because that's a beauty. Okay, so now we have the, the amber spice on top. And I'll just kind of put one more little tiny dab in there. Okay. Make sure that's kind of in the middle. And I'll put down my cell activator. A full dollop, plus probably another couple drops. One, two. All right. I'll pick it up. That's how I blow best. All right, let's let that come back and collect. Boy, that red is so bossy. <laughs> so I got down to the blue here and here, but not really too much over there. A little bit. We'll see right here if it stretches out and shows some more. I've got some really fun kind of peacocky cells though where I've got the orange with the interference with the red. There's a lot of fun things happening there. I'm just letting this collect in the middle. I don't want to rush this process. So that's where um, letting it recollect, it really um, forms these bigger cells in the middle and they tend to pick up, at least with the counterculture. I like how they pick up that top color. So. Here we go. And spin. Let's see what we get. Gorgeousness. That's what we get. We get gorgeousness. I don't know if I want to do one more. I'm not sure how I feel about these corners, but let me just check that out and see if that's just white or if it's interference. It's just white. Let's do one more little spin here. Not quite as hard as the first one, but okay. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So um, I'll pick this one up and just bring it up to you for a close up as well. Let's 
Wow, I've got some really awesome peacocky cells. And by that I mean multiple colors in one cell. So you can see I've got like a dark blue center surrounded by red, surrounded by the interference piggy surrounded by orange. So the sky blue never really shows up in these, but it just counts as kind of a lightning agent. I like it. Oh my gosh, you guys, that one's so cool too. <laughs> I love it, I do. All right, so what I'll do, I'll put this one down and we can come take a look at the two of them together. Okay, I think I definitely prefer the orange on top on this one because I have too much red in the um, the one with the blue. So let's go have a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here they are side by side. That one just has way too much red in it for my liking, but the pattern, the overall pattern is really beautiful. Um, you can see a little bit of the interference as I just kind of, I've got it next to the window to hope, hopefully show you some of that. So there's that one. Here's the, oh my gosh, I think I really like that one better. <laughs> Look, the red didn't get so bossy. It didn't really take over. So I just have the hints of red and it's primarily the blue and orange, which I love. And then again, we've got the whole interference color shift. Anywhere where you see that kind of lighter color, it's going to really um, dry shifty. So here's two others I didn't show you that are dried from yesterday. Um, this one dried and again it's it's much like this one where the red just really took over. Um, but look at that. Do you see how that interference piggy just oh, the blue interference. I love it. And then this one is the first one I did. I did it with cobalt blue instead of the uh, aquamarine and it just wasn't the color I was looking for the cobalt blue versus the aquamarine. I definitely, my area rug has this color in it. So this was the first one I did. And then I just said, nah, that's not what I'm going for. But look how pretty it is though. And did you, did I even kind of show you the, look at that piggy, that interference blue. It's so nice and fun. It just changes up the color. So those are the dried results from two other test tiles yesterday, two different ones than this one and this one that I showed you. And so I hope that this video helped you. Um, you know, you can see the products that I used, the colors that I used, the technique of how I blow. I never blow straight down. I'm not very good at that. I always get too much of the pillow coming up when I do that. So I just kind of pick up myself and blow across it. And if it's a really big piece, I use a dryer or something. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Here, I'll get them all together the dried ones and the wet ones. Those were my four test tiles from yesterday, my two today. Pretty consistent results, really, as far as the colors and the patterns and the lacing and stuff. So um, until we meet again, everyone, have fun painting. Bye now.